All right, let's do it. 175 packs of the Fall of Arden Port. Let's get going. Okay, Emron Armadillo, cool. Already we got a legendary. I'm kind of excited for Hot Blood, Blood Barbarian. Ooh, Workshop Tinker. 2-2 two, two for 2 Endurance? You may discard a card to grade and draw Tinker? That's like a Hot Blood Barbarian. So this is a, this is a cycle. It's definitely a cycle. And we might have got another one of these in a different color in the first pack, but I didn't really look. Zuberi Outlands Warlord. 4 power, 3, 5. 2 fire influence. When Zuberi attacks, the top unit of your deck gets plus strength equal to his strength. Inspire units you draw get double damage. That's actually not bad. That's actually Dece. I, I kind of like that. I could see this in maybe in Stone Scar mid, but I'm not gonna play it in Stone Scar mid. I have other things I want to try first. I started streaming as soon as they nerfed Gauntlet to one loss. What do you mean? It's always been one loss. Unless you mean Forge, man. Barricade. Well, I got to see the art on this. <laughs> it's two power! How? Two power fast spell plus eight plus eight? Hello? It was two for a while near the launch. Yeah, it was. That happened last time too, man. I think around when Dusk Road came out. Right after Dusk Road came out, it was two losses for, for like the first couple days. And then they put it back to one. Okay, factory quota. We take those. We we take those around this around here in this stream. We take factory quotas around here. Okay, ancient of the ice caves. Nice wheel of fortune. You get a wisp deck with Dawnwalker, wisp fanboy, and protector of destinies with it for a powerful attacker that keeps coming back. Jeez. You made one first thing you don't regret it at all. You mean it's a lot of packs? Dashing Rapscallion. Uh, she seems okay. 7-5 when attacking. 9-5 on the first swing if you activate Berserk. And it's permanent. It's a permanent buff. So she doesn't lose the buff. That could... Eh, yeah, eh. Wisps feel a little pushed, but you're excited for the deck it'll offer. Which is good. Like, Wisps haven't really gotten support before then. Spiteful Lumen, give one of your Wisps deadly. Okay. Burglar Eyes, nice. What the hell is Sirocco Elementalist? 3 power 2 2, put an enemy unit with flying into its owner's hand. Traff? I guess? There were five wisps before, now there's 40. All I see are wisps in these packs. I like this card. I know it's probably, Gibbering Jackal's probably bad, but I like it. Still like it. Elf, we're uh, we're doing something with this today, probably. By the way. Insatiable Sarasaur, we take those. Even if it's bad, we still take those. Nice, uh, nice draft removal. Premium draft removal. Hey, premium burglar eyes. I hate this card, but it's okay. Pathlighter is the best wisp boy. All right, another legendary. We are guaranteed three because I bought a, uh, right before I started the stream, I had gems that I bought a couple days, that I got a couple days ago and I used it to buy a box. We're gonna get way more than three. Okay. I didn't I didn't want to brew with Dramatist Masks. Kinda wanna see what other people do with it before I dive into that. 
but I'm not gonna not take it. I will not deny it. Probably playing this today too. Flame Belcher. Overwhelm. 2-2 two, two for 2 Overwhelm. Put 10 fire bombs into the bottom half of the enemy deck. Oh my god. Let's go. I'm sorry guys. Like I'm I am genuinely excited whenever we get a new set. I've been like this for every card game I've ever played. Mm, there's one, at least one deck I'm playing Resurface in. Sarasaur, okay, fine. Take them, take them all. <laughs> it's weird because my Twitch desk. Uh, I'll look at that later. Vanquisher's Blade. I don't think it's that good, but you know. It's better than Crown Watch Longsword. I actually like Banished Umbrin. People are hating on it. I mean, it probably is not very good, but... Another mill piece? I'll take that. Krill. This... art is different from what got spoiled. Slightly. It's slightly different. From what got spoiled it's almost the same but it looks a little bit different it looks a little cleaner too bad there's no expensive list of soul brain could bring reanim could be reanimator fuel so the gentleness and the path lighter are what you want for wisps okay it's probably randomly main. It's probably randomly for the bottom half. As far as the 10 firebombs. I mean, that's good. Okay, that's fine. We I know what deck I'm going to put this in. If no one could guess, it's armory. There's a couple spells that have sack a unit, so there's, there's some tribute support in this set, I've noticed. Haven't really looked at the cards that hard, but I keep pulling Insatiable Sarasaurs. At some point, there's going to be too many. I'm going to not want Sarasaurs anymore. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Definitely. We definitely take those. Sheriff's Hat. 4 power 3-3, three, three, Spellcraft 2, Play Detain. Nice flavor. That's some good flavor. Ooh, Trick Shot. Just like the, the quest, the, the quest that you need in Eternal. You have to win two back-to-back -back -back games in Ranked. Or Draft, I think. Either one. Give one of your units overwhelm and Quick Draw this turn. Okay. Another Burglarize. Alright. I think we're opening too many bur Burglarizes. Bloodthirsty Brawler, Berserk, Overwhelm, 4-6 for 5. It probably wouldn't wouldn't see play in Skycrag mid-range. Unless you don't have legendaries. The legendaries for Skycrag mid. That's like a decent replacement. Rika, I'm not really excited about. We we take merchants. Look at Substitute. One cost, change a unit to a 3-3 Dinosaur with Overwhelm. Oh my god. So I pulled it and I didn't even see it. I haven't really been looking at the commons. Because we got a 175 packs is a lot to go through. And this is going up on YouTube. So. <laughs> the last pack opening was like an hour. Amaranth Stinger. 3 mana, 2, 4 charge. Infiltrate put 3 scorpion traps into the top 20 cards of the enemy deck. And the scorpion traps are 0, have destiny. When scorpion trap goes to your void, the enemy player plays a 1-1 one, one scorpion with, with deadly. Interesting. Alright, we got I gotta look for a substitute now the next time I see next time I pull one. Shamanic Blast. 
Costs one less for each spell in your void. Deals three damage to an enemy unit. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we take merchants. We, we take those. Maybe. Maybe spending. Watchful Amonera. Once per turn, you may scout if you have played a spell this turn. Long live the queen. <laughs> Card's still weird to me. Spell sword, sure. I want to see substitute now. Destiny draws you another card, so it should work with the weights. Have they changed the box arts for some scions? They look like, like somebody plastered someone's base on the tip of the originals. Really? I don't know if they have. Crunch? Okay. We take those. So did you drop bread on these packs? Probably camel. I mean, yes, let's go. I I I I need a couple of these. I need at least two more. At least two more. That's going into the first deck I'm gonna play. I mean, there's one legendary I want more than any right now. All right, we're opening too many Sarasaurs. All right, there, Substitute. There we go. Oh, it uses this art. We finally get to see what card this art is for. Transforming, okay. That's cool. I like that. Just play a game later, you'll see the difference. All right. I mean, we're definitely going to get into it. So you're talking about the avatars. The Scion avatars. Like, they just, they look bad now. Call the deck. I, I saw this, like, really fast. Like, right when I got back home. That's power. Yeah, that's better than Scheme in every way. <laughs> that's definitely power clear. Harbinger's Bite. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. All right. I, we need to stop j just for one second. Just one second. This was a card that was Felm. This used to be in closed beta. There was a card called Harbinger's B Bite. This doesn't quite do the same thing. I think it does... The old one did one damage to two enemies. I believe that's how it worked. But it still had lifesteal. It was a Felm card. And it was cheap. I think it cost one or two. I don't quite remember. It didn't cost more than two. So it's nice that they they basically changed Harbinger's Bite to be a shadow card. And it has Nightfall. And you can't split the damage up anymore. It was kind of like Rock Slide a little bit. But it was in Felm. Also, that old Harbinger's Bite card used the same art as um, that one Primal card that gives that buffs that gives a flying unit overwhelm it's in primal it buffs them and gives them overwhelm gives a flying unit overwhelm use the art on that card was on the old harbinger's bite randori swap the blocks what swap the blocks of two blocking enemy units okay <laughs> all right Sure. I like Hair Trigger Pistol. That's Hair Trigger Pistol is dope. Lithrai Blade Whirl. Give one of your units plus three attack while you have Lithrai Blade Whirl. So while she's alive. All right. Talon Dive. That's that was it. Talon Dive. <laughs> the bamboozles this set. I tell ya. Alright, we gotta... We gotta fly, boys. And girls. Eh. 
I'm gonna hate pulling that every time. Chairman's contract. I do not think it's good, but you never know. Inspire units you draw get Aegis. I knew it. There was gonna be an Inspire unit that granted Aegis to units. At the start of your turn, you gain an Aegis. Uh huh. Four power, one five. Uh huh. The Shaman of the Scale card. I did say it was gonna. Kenna was gonna be a possible day one craft. I couldn't really come up with anything though, so I don't. I don't think I'm gonna go with Kenna today. I want to come up with something where she's gonna be good. And I kind of wanted to see the whole set first. Just like go through all the cards. I don't want to just throw her into anything. Okay. This is the uh, Sheriff Marley. She looks dope as a premium. She's alright. I haven't checked the latest spoilers. Nah. Oh man. I mean, a lot of people like Big Brother. I think it's okay. I'm not sad I pulled it. I mean, not all the cards got spoiled anyway, so... A bunch of them did, but not all of them. Only Dragonsmith with Sky Terror, Thunderstrike Dragon? Maybe. Maybe. Did we get other dragons in this set? We probably did. Mistress of Light? Yeah, Big Bro just seems... It definitely seems like an Infiltrate card. Okay, that's fine. End of Hostilities is fine. Preserver of Dualities. 4 power, 3-3. Three, three. When you play a Radiant, including this card, play a 1-1 one, one Wisp, pay 2... Exhaust Preserver Dualities to give one of your Wisps plus two strength. Okay. Tokens? Vile Varmint. So fluffy. Yeah, it is fluffy. 1-1 one, one Flying Deadly Summons Nightfall. <laughs> Interesting. See now I got it. We got to pull another Mistress of Light because I don't know what that does. I didn't even look, and I know I have one. Thief's pick, okay. Last rites looks. It's probably not that good, but it looks interesting. Another big brother. Mistress of Light gives Wiz buffs. Steel deck upgrade. <laughs> I know, I keep getting big brothers. I'm kind I am kinda high rolling. I'm kinda high rolling. But I think the last legendary was a big brother. It's a family now. What's up, Annie? How you been? How you doing? It's been a while, Annie. Another crunch. We take those. Yeah. I was thinking about that too, X. I was like, let's... We'll play... We'll play one or two decks I had planned. We might play... Uh, we'll play some sub decks too. If any of my subs have ideas, they want me to try. And then we'll see what Direwolf tells me with... Uh, because whenever you do big pack openings, you know, you, the game is always trying to tell you something. It tries to tell you what you should play. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. Wormic Chanter. Create and draw a 7-7 seven, seven Sandworm with Tribute activated once per turn. This is, like a, this is like the time version of bait, except it doesn't have to die. Oh, wow. You can pay two and make it a 5-5. Five, five. I mean, it's a power sink, but it still seems like too much. Yeah, we take Ixton Merchants. We take any and all merchants. I have still not seen Staff of Speed. 
<laughs> one one endurance spellcraft three play slow. All right. Okay. I like Amaranth Stinger. I don't like this card. Best card art in the set? Yep. Ixton Merchant. It's pro I'm pretty sure it, it, it's up there. I don't want to say it's the best card art, because Substitute's pretty insane. That art's pretty good. I don't, I don't think Ixton Merchant art is better than Substitute art. But... You're not a fan of that kind of art? I, I mean, I can appreciate it. Stone Scar Pickaxe. When the wielder hits the enemy player, create and draw 1 1 Grenadin. Spellcraft 3, play Quarry. Okay. You can pay 7 to play Quarry. Look out for Warm Snuggles. Alright. Warm Snuggles and the other card Mistress of Light. I'm still looking for Mistress of Light. Gruen form? Okay. <laughs> Alright. I don't like this card. Other than the fact that it's a gunslinger dinosaur. I don't like it. Mistress of Light and Warm Snuggles. It's a two cost primal spell. Okay. Fear Binder. It's a relic. I was, um, this kind of looks legit. This actually looks legit. Sewer Sludge. I saw what this did, like, 20 minutes ago, and I was like, oh. Really? <laughs> that might be legit. Once per turn, you may pay four and sacrifice two units to play a Fierce Sum. With their combined strength, health, and berserk. Oh, Fear Sum is a unit. Okay. You pay for a sacrifice two units to play one unit with their combined strength and health, and it has Berserk. Okay. It actually might be decent in draft if nowhere else. Swish Lives Worth, you like it? You thought I just wanted to snuggle? It's actually a card. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, it's actually a card. Okay. That's fine. Shaman's good. Crest of Glory. We we definitely take those. Xenobos with Grand Major Boost with Sewer Sludge. I can't argue against that. Um... Thry target call. I was just looking for anything that was like interesting to me really quick. Betray the cause seems. This doesn't seem that bad actually. I mean his matchups where it sucks, but the flash jar. Yeah, the rare card I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. A legendary. Ooh. Illumination Wisp. Horde Plunder. 3 power, 1 4. Berserk, your weapons. Spellcraft for free? Okay. Okay. That that's that's pretty good. She has 4 health, so like she dies to a lot of stuff, but she doesn't die to everything. It's free real- <laughs> It is definitely free real estate. If my weapons spellcraft for free, living example. Wow. These- these card names. 2-1 for 2, inspire units you draw get plus 1 plus 1. Okay. That's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Hey, Xena Life Speaker. Units you draw get lifesteal. Xenia life force. Another pickaxe. Sure. 
Enraged Arachnidon. So we have Arachnidon, now we have an Enraged one. And it has Berserk and more stats. Makes sense. Another Sludge. I might play Sludge in, um... Argentport, actually. Now that I think about it. I might play Sludge in that. We might ha finally have enough Shadow units. Like, good Shadow 1-drops to try it out. Umbran Occluder. Flying Ambush, 7-7 seven, seven for 8. Tribute. The enemy player discards the top... 13 cards of their deck. Oh my god, let's go! I'm ready! I I am ready. I am ready. I'm probably gonna have to craft like one to two more of those. Light them up, your units get plus one this turn. Nice. Light them up. Undertaker? I didn't even see Undertaker. Another Flame Belcher. Okay. <laughs> Chillin' and milling. Oh, Sewer Sludge equals Undertaker. Gotcha. Yeah, almost. I would say so, Pony. Flame Belcher mill? <laughs> I still don't see these cards. What was it? It was, uh... The Snuggle card? And, um... The other card. Mistress of Light and the Snuggle card. War warm Snuggles. Milligan. I is Milligan back? Milligan was gone for a while. Is Milligan coming back? eternal maybe maybe huddle together you think okay what's up joxer well it's called huddle together i think that's the six bur burglar as i pulled god this is gonna be Not warm snuggles should be though. Okay, it must be the art. That's why you guys are calling it warm snuggles. Okay. Downpour though. Torrential downpour. Deal one damage to each enemy scout. That's not bad. Iron Fist Archon. Once per turn, you may pay six to draw a unit of your choice from your deck with costs equal to or less than the number of units in your units in play. Wow. That seems pretty strong. I mean, she has to stick. But if she does, that seems pretty strong. If this had Aegis, it'd be like kind of insane. It would be really, really good. Like, almost pushed. Play shield dash. Line breaker shield. You're still in Rhymes Jail? It's okay. Everyone eventually gets out. Another crunch. Yeah, it might be pretty good, Joxer. I don't think it's bad. Grit. <laughs> Warp, you gain three armor. Why couldn't Grit be better? There it is. There it is. Huddle together. Aww. Two power fast spell. Your units get plus two health this turn. Aww. It's a family. Aww. That's cute. No wonder you guys call it warm snuggles. You love meditation? One power. 
fast spell, give one of your units plus two plus two and put it on top of your deck. Okay. I don't know though, like you time you kinda time walk yourself. I don't know about that. It's not the worst card in the game. This is this card's this might single-handedly bring Stone Scar Aggro back. Like, without the Madness shenanigans. And the Haunting Scream shenanigans. Like, you could just play Stone Scar Aggro again. Draw with Echo. Crown memes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. If you play with Crown of Possibilities and uh, you put on Echo unit, then that's pretty insane. Roland's Memorial. Three power relic at the end of your turn. If a unit went to your void, give one of yours plus one plus one for each spell in your void. Interesting. Hmm. We take Magenta Wisp around here. Yeah, Gale Prowler actually looks kind of dope too. Yep, we definitely take those. Ooh, hold up. It's their choice, though, so it's... Eh. I think eventually we're, we were going to get a card like this. We were going to get, like, a discard two effect, but it was going to be... It wouldn't be your choice. It'd be the opponent's choice. So... Hold up is not a surprise. Spite Feeder, though. Spite Feeder. Nine, more mill. More mill. Let's go. Easy. Even more mill. Remember Rollet? This is him now. <laughs> I have to yell Berserker Barrage every time I open a set four pack? No! Like, my voice would die. I'd have to mute the rest of the stream by the time I got done. Especially if you want me to put it in... Okay, listen. Listen, chat. This was not called Pathlighter when it got spoiled. This was not called Pathlighter. I mean, it's fine. But it wasn't called Pathlighter. I'm just saying. This happened last time, too. When something got spoiled and then the name changed. That happened last time. On a Dusk Road card. But it's okay. Pathlighter is actually a better name. I actually like it better than the... The old name was... It was Lustrous Wisp. That was the that was the name that got spoiled. But I like Pathlighter better. Okay. Two power two three Rakano. Gain fire and justice when it comes into play. Ultimate discard a spell to get plus two power this turn. Okay. Gunslinger Mage. That's kinda nice. Actually I actually like this. I think this is actually pretty good. Wisping better than just Vital Arcana seems potentially good. I must have pulled in the last pack. I didn't even see it. You guys are gonna see cards I don't see. Cause like I'm trying to go fast, even though I'm not. I'm still not going fast. Now I want to see Vital Arcana. We'll pull it again. Spy Feeder works wonders in Wisp Radiance Energy decks. I believe it, but I'm trying to mill people. Make Mill great. Not again, because it was never great. Okay. Yep. Oh, it was the time it was the time card in the pack. Lol. <laughs> the only time card in the pack, probably. God, I'm gonna look back on this and be like. Why didn't I talk about this card? Why didn't I talk about that card? Okay, I, I actually want that. I actually think Breeze Dancer is not a bad card. Not at all. Mill was never great, it was always tier 0. Okay, Soulbringer. Alright. Are Is Wisp actually playing this? I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, it's a rare, so 
Entrancer. Silence a unit with cost 3 or less in the enemy player's hand. Interesting. Initiation Bell. I gotta look at Relics. Like, Relics are one of my favorite card types in Eternal, so... It makes sense, because in Magic, I like the enchantments. Those were, those were my, some of my favorite cards. Entrancer, please. Entrancer just looks pretty good. Seems pretty good. The Shadow Merchant should be selling Azendel's gift. <laughs> yep. Ten firebombs and then Solitude the first half of their deck away. Easy. Once per turn, you may pay one to create and draw a 2-2 Monk with Endurance if you have played a spell this turn. Okay. That's not exciting, but... Fine. Play Relics, hold Burglarize. Will I play Arena when Core 2019 set releases? I didn't plan on ever going back to Magic Recon, but you, I'll say this, you never know. You never know. I did not plan on going back to playing Magic, though. So, right now I'm saying no, but... Another crunch. Or Curd Ward. <laughs> Another Sarasaur. I actually like Learn Herbalist. You gain one health and then you may discard a card to create and draw secret pages. That's cool. It's a sign I'm the Yeti streamer now? I might be. I'm drawing big bro- I'm- I'm pulling big brothers and crunches. Let's go. Okay. I- One more of those, and I'm probably gonna have to craft. We're- we're playing the new Jack, by the way. I'll just go ahead and say it. No more screw. <laughs> Are we done drawing crunch yet? Probably not. What the hell is that? Scale Seeker? 2 power 1 3, pay 1 and exhaust Scale Seeker to scout. After the third use, sacrifice him to play a 5 5 dragon with flying. And the dragon's colorless, it's the 6 drop. Same one you get from, um. Caldera and Cradle. You know, the, pe the card everyone thought was trash. Nobody ever bothered brewing with it. But that Caldera and Cradle is the type of card that gets better every set, so. At some point, I think it's going to be pretty good. It, it will not be trash. Two initiation bells, funky monks deck. I want monks to be a thing. Or, well, in this game, they're mystics. I, I do kind of want mystic tribal. Did I know Chalice now has a 1 cost 0 4 and a 2 cost 0 6? Isn't. Isn't the 2 cost 0 6 like a lesion? Or was is it a 1 cost 0 4? It was an Elysian card that got spoiled. Kung Fu fighting? Nice. <laughs> There's only the en the Enemu Dragon Girl in this set? No one Aw, feels bad, man. So Ken is the only dragon. Okay. The Shadow Inspirer that gives lifesteal? There is that, yeah. We pull that way back. Ijin, Ijin's choice. Gotta say her name right. It's not Ijin, it's Ijin. Create and draw 4 4 Mithril Armor. Makes sense. Because Ijin, that's her ability. You put them on units. You pay 4 to play Mithril Armor on units. Or kill an enemy. Kill an attachment on an enemy. Okay. That's a. Ijin's choice is good. It's not a fast spell, though. That's a little disappointing. It's the only thing I don't like. Another Soulbringer. Okay. Oni Uologist. <laughs> I think that's what Pony was talking about earlier. Training Ground. Okay. 2-2 two, two Monk with Endurance. And then you Scout. Memebringer. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. Someone mentioned it earlier. 
Feral Spiteling. When Feral Spiteling attacks each of your radiance, get plus one strength reaching in your void. Okay. If you were thinking about the Oni that drew a weapon of choice from your deck on tribute, oh. <laughs> Yeah, Sun 7 7 Flyer. Crunch playset complete? I believe that's like the fifth crunch. Okay, I wanted one of these. If I never pull Scarf again, I'm good. But I wanted one. That's probably like the sixth crunch we pulled. Fifth or sixth. Transmogrifier? Once per turn, you may pay two to give one of your units plus three strength minus two health. An ankle cutter? When a unit with endurance takes damage, kill it. <laughs> oh, let me cut them ankles, Sandstorm Titan. Give me them ankles. All right, let's let's move on before the pack opening gets weird. I think Yetis love me. I think Yetis are like, please notice me. I know you've you've never played a Yeti deck. Gathering lights, play two one wisp, then gain one health for each of your units. Okay. Oh, I like the Stinger card. I guess we might not. I thought we would need to play Banish Umbrin for a mill deck, but we probably don't need it. If we have stuff like Spite Feeder and that Shadow Legendary we pulled earlier. What's a Scorpion Trap? It's a zero power card that when it goes to the void, the enemy player plays a 1-1 Scorpion. I think it's a... It's not a unit. Amaran Armadillo, sure. This seems... Oh! This is good with Monks. I, I found it, chat. I missed... Oh, Vital Arcana, there we go. Oh my! Draw two cards, you gain four health. Oh! Oh, that's a little expensive. I get- we have Ancient Lore, which is four cost, and it's the same thing. And any units you draw get plus one, plus one. No one's playing that, so I don't know about Arcana. Like, maybe... People will try this in Life Force, but I don't think it'll work out. The guard dog, yep. Don't hate on my guard dog. Alright. Yeah, it's a relic. Scorpion Trap is a relic. It has destiny. That's the problem, though. Like... The trap has to go to your void. So... They're gonna draw it. And then... It... Goes into play, right? Are they maybe... Oh, Scorpion Trap's a spell. Oh. Okay. So... They automatically go to the Void then. Because they cost zero and they have Destiny in their spells. They're not units. Gotcha. Okay. I see. I see. All right, now that we've solved that problem. Card's weird, hold me, Scarlatch. <laughs> nice, we got another Frontier Bard. Marley, I wanna stop pulling Marley's now. No, it's just the three in the top 20, yeah. I mean, when when it's the next card, then they get to draw another card, but then the trap goes in the void, and you play a 1-1 Scorpion. I assume the Monk tokens are, um, Mystics. Unfinished business. Interesting. Clearly that's... Oh, this is the Dark Return guy. Maybe it... it it's probably Jack. It has to be Jack. 
Which means Jack is also on the uh, Dark Return art. Because Jack was supposed to hang, so. It's that same guy walking into a bar. We definitely take those. What is this Sanglass Parma? I got a premium of this earlier. Oh, this is the max power weapon. Spellcraft plate teleport. Okay. Yeah, it's the Dark Return guy. Ooh! <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Jack walked into a bar, but there was no counter. <laughs> More Sarasaurs. Premium Riot. <laughs> And more burglarizes. It's all right. It's okay. Dick's then okay. Encouragement plus two plus two flying for the turn. <laughs> Ooh. Sigvard the Last Bastion. 11? 4 5 lifesteal. Cost 3 less if you have a unit in your void. 3 less if you have a spell in your void. And 3 less if you have an attachment in your void. Mm. This is probably going to cost 5 at best. The average is 8. Usually the decks that run a lot of units don't run a lot of spells, and sometimes they run attachments. It depends on the deck. But it is injustice, so... There's definitely a justice unit-heavy decks that run attachments, so... It, it probably costs five in those. It might not be worth it, though. Maybe Paladins wants it. Maybe the Paladins does want it. It can be too cost if armory is ran. That's that is definitely possible. Sigvard used to be nine. <laughs> oh, it's the first winch. It's the first uh, Winchest merchant. This is still the creepiest merchant by far because his face. And for people that don't know what I mean, just look at my third preview video for the fall of Argent Port when this card got spoiled. The merchant mechanic got spoiled. You'll get a laugh. Wormstone can activate all three of his boosts. Actually, you're right. Temple Shion. Okay, I was kind of waiting for that. What the hell is this? Xenon got a... A multi-faction late game unit? What? You may sacrifice any number of other units to draw a card and gain one health for each? Xenon tokens. Unravel is pretty nuts, though. That's probably the fifth Carindon merchant. Pretty sure. The Xenon tokens will unravel the meta. See, I was gonna play Shimmer Pack. Nice. I was looking for that. Like, where, where's my recon towers? I want those. Yeah, Magus of Celerity's dope. You can sacrifice all your ramp guys that you use to cheat it out, and then lose the game when someone plays a removal spell on it. <laughs> oh my god. Herald of the Parliament. 
three power of two two plus one plus one while the enemy unit player has no units pay four to create a draw four four flop owl with flying okay yeah, herald of the hoot of the hoot hoot finally a gen of merchant All these one power, like, scout fast spells. There's a bunch of one power spells in this set that scout. Another barricade. Haven't seen that in a while. Lingering influence, though. It's a. Thunder Giant. Huh. He deals three damage to each enemy unit if you play a spell this turn when he attacks. Okay. Nice hold up. That's Grenarender. Oh, that's the that's the fire card in the two drop cycle. You pay one and sack it. Okay. Another territorial elf. There we go. Derry Cathane. This is the two power zero four. With the pay three ultimate. And a source of choice. Lingering in, yeah. You need to know Mulligan's opinion on the zero three time unit with lower cost than Spire. Uh, I think it might be pretty good in token decks. In Praxis tokens or Shimmer Pack. Outside of that, I think it's bad. I do not think it's that good. But in the, in that type of deck, sure. Encouragement has warp. You're calling sleeper. <laughs> yeah, Linebreaker Shield's pretty dope. Yeah, I'm pulling like lots of Yetis and Giants. I think uh, the the game is definitely trying to tell me something. I'll wait for Bassoon Buffoon to come up with an insane Yeti deck, and then I'll I'll play that. Another Randori, nice. Encouragement's great in prowess decks. Crest of Glory, nice. Another warm, warm fuzzies. <laughs> for only for only one more than shield, you get a shield dash and plus two plus two endurance. Yeah, that that's true. Recombobulate, four power fast spell with warp. Put an attacking enemy unit on top of its owner's deck, reduce the cost of the top unit of your deck by the enemy unit's cost. Wow. I don't think this is bad. I think this is pretty decent. Change the card name to Warm Snuggles. Wow. You gotta put in a, uh... Put it in the suggestion box. Send a, send a feedback report. Sub one mana polymorph. Justice gets no Inspire cards because Roland's dead. That was probably the idea. Quick Trigger Outlaw, 2 power 1, 2, when you play a weapon on Quick Trigger Outlaw, he deals 1 damage to an enemy. Tribute play a plus 1 plus 1 weapon on one of your units. Okay, so if Tribute gets paid, you can play the weapon on this, he becomes a 2-3 that deals 1 damage to an enemy. And then it keeps going if you keep putting weapons on it. Alright.
There is a card called Inspire, yes. Another barricade. Now I, I gotta see encouragement now. Cause I don't think I even saw was looking at encouragement. And I think I pulled more than one. Another outlaw. <laughs> the language of Link. <laughs> We're going to talk about... This isn't a Legend of Zelda stream. Yeah, now I want to see. Alright, remind me, chat. Remind me. Encouragement. Encouragement, encouragement, encouragement. I need to read encouragement again. I probably did see it, too. Not happy about that, but sure. <laughs> Link would would fit into Eternal Well. Yeah. There we go, Mistress of Light. Your Wisp have plus one plus one. Your Wisp have an additional plus one plus one if Tribute gets activated. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely uh. That has to go in Wisps. I don't think it can't. We still think End of the Line's a sleeper? I don't think it's awful, but I don't think it's great either. Mr. Sneak's cost reduction, though? Yeah. Downfall seems pretty bad in draft because there's so many, there's so few five plus attack cards. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to look at what the curated packs have. I glanced over it, but I didn't really like look at it. Wildfire Sensari. See, card names interest me. They let me, uh, they, <laughs> they pull me into looking at the card to see what it does. When you play a spell. It gets plus one, plus one, and quick draw this turn. Okay. That's not impressive. There's a similar five drop in Dusk Road. That has to do with weapons. That's also a centaur. The end is near. I hope somebody comes up with something good with this. Because I kind of want to play it, but I, I don't know. Okay, there it is. Encouragement. Encouragement, encouragement, encouragement. Two power spell, warp, give a unit plus two, plus two, and flying this turn. Okay. Not not bad. Not bad. Not bad. End of the line should show that TF2 update. It doesn't deal double damage to other players. The Sunsari. <laughs> the first one did, I believe. It did double damage when you equip a weapon to it. Also cost 5. Moonlight Huntress. Oh, it's a 2-2. Two, two. It's a 5-5 five, five at night. And then it's a 2-2. Two, two. Probably sees play in draft. This is the relic that plays a power card from your void every turn? In this set? Or was it in Dusk Road? Play Huntress, get torched, rip. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I think Journey Guide's good in, uh, could be good in token decks. Shimmer Pack, uh. Okay, I'm not sad that I pulled this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's set four. Okay. It plays a power card from your void every turn. Interesting. So, with the shadow card where you discard the top 10 card power cards. 
Yeah, it could work. Living example, defensive war cry. You right. Aw oh, man, I didn't want to pull another one. Finally, a freaking worm calling. I haven't s we have not pulled one. I know we haven't. Another wheel of fortune. Spin the wheel. Sewer sludge hype. <laughs> Citywide ban? It's a Cursed Relic, 4 power. Choose one of the 4 highest cost cards in the enemy deck. The Cursed player can't play cards with that name. Wow. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Slime's gonna be good. It's an Alaskan Bulwark. <laughs> this thing? What does Iceberg Scattershot do? When you play a unit, it deals one damage to the enemy player, including itself. 4 power 3 1. Meh. Lock horns. Ah. Uh, let's move on from that. <laughs> 1 HP? Yeah, you can do Infiltrate Spark stuff, but it's got 1 health. That's the only bad thing. The thing is, like, the Scattershot itself does the damage, not the unit that you're playing. So you're not going to play an Infiltrate unit and then proc the Infiltrate. Like, you have to put weapons that have Infiltrate on the scatter shot gleaming shield okay another shihan a dusk raider finally it's kind of what's reality shift 7 power spell warp, put an enemy unit into its owner's hand, plus an additional enemy unit for each of your <laughs> units with endurance. So, monks. Because all the monks have endurance. Just reality shift and bounce their entire board. River's Rebuke. <laughs> Fear Binder again, sure. Hey, Iron Fist Chancellor. We take those around here. A furry bat. Smork element. <laughs> yeah, we take those. I I don't. This card is so weird. Transmogrifier. Like what? Primeval Plover? Yeah, it's the time. That's a cycle, too. Every faction got one of those. You give something a buff while that unit's in play. When it leaves play, though, you lose it. The art on Grit. <laughs> yeah, it's, I actually do like the art on Grit. Gathering lights, gathering memes. Hey, Mask Maker. Your other units that share a type with Mask Maker have plus one, plus one. Choose one of your other units. Mask Maker becomes its type. Interesting. Okay, it's like a 
factionless card that you can put in your tribal decks. I don't know if it's worth it, but I mean a board wide buff to your tribe your tribe. Death Watcher and Draft. Nah, even though the art's cool, I really like the art. But meh. That looks cool as a uh, premium. Unfinished business. It's a core scavenger, the fire card that uh that's in that cycle of give one of your units X buff while you have core scavenger in play. It looks like a Warcraft orc. Yeah, it, it does. It definitely does on Death Watcher. We take factory quotas. I think that's the third one I've pulled. Across, sure. Press the progress, sure. Finally, I want like a couple of these. It's a combo crest hype. Hype for the combo crest. Factory Quad has giant head mode enabled. <laughs> What is up with this this? Ten the flock. Three play three zero one sheep for two. I guess like <sighs> Shimmer Pack. Has to be Shimmer Pack. You already highlighted that card? Whoops, then I, I missed it earlier. It is time! It is time! It is time! It is time. Yes, Pony, we're playing Stone Scar mid range. That's the first deck we're playing today. <laughs> this is what I wanted. We need three more though. <laughs> yeah, we can get some uh some Molly time spam. You guys can spam the sub emotes in the chat. We we can we can spam that in the chat. That that was PogChamp. Stop opening packs now. I can't. I can't top this one. Yeah, I can't. Can't top it. Nothing's gonna top a premium Jack Lone gun. It, it's all downhill from here. It's all downhill from here. After opening a hundred and almost forty packs, like a hundred and thirty-six packs. Oh, I didn't, I didn't read Auric Herd Ward. Oopsies. And it's an uncommon, so I don't know if I'm gonna, we're gonna pull it again. Nice, Fenris Nightshade. Alchemist Concussion? I don't think it's... I don't think the card's awful. It's probably bad. It's probably bad. I think this is the first Rendra's Choice I've pulled. Maybe it's the second. Maybe it's the second. But it might be the first. Yeah, Unseen did get a few nice ones in this set, definitely. 
We're playing Felon too, but not today. Unless one of my subs wants to give me a Felon deck. It has to have new cards though. It's gotta be gotta be a new brew. I've pulled one before. Okay, so we have three. At least three. Ooh. Nice premium Shihan. Okay. Gift of Battle seems useful in diesel cards. Okay. <laughs> she Honda. <laughs> Alright, what is this? What? Thundering Karasaur, 6 power, 8-8. Eight, eight. Quad time influence. Overwhelm. When either player plays a spell, the other player draws a card. Interesting. Yeah, downfall does seem kind of bad in draft. There's not a lot of stuff with five attack or more. Usually things have four attack or less. But we'll see. That's a big boy. That is a, a, a big, big boy. And see, when if you're playing time, usually time runs a lot of units. You don't run a lot of spells. So, like, even Dinosaur Tribal is going to be heavy on units. So, you're not playing a lot of spells for your opponent to draw cards. They'll play spells so you draw a card. So, even if they have removal for this, then it's... You're not trading one for one, like, you're basically two for one them, because you draw a card. <laughs> Dino Man breaks through the wall Kool-Aid Man style? Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah, even if it gets annihilated, it's bad, but, I mean, it's bad when, uh, World Bear Behemoth gets annihilated. It's, like, almost as bad. That's a 5-drop, and it you don't draw a card <laughs> if it gets annihilated immediately. This one, at least you do. So, I like it. I like Carousel. Discard a card to create and draw second sight. That's what Pwn Reader does. Finally reading it after, like, 160 packs, and I've, I'm sure I have, like, 10 of them. Destroyer of free to play. <laughs> yeah, the invincible eight eight also dies to annihilate. Oh, an honored sky guard. I have not pulled that card. A worm calling, okay. Nice premium Sarsos choice. Okay. This one I thought I pulled every rare that I wanted to see. A Marley. That's probably the fifth one we've seen. A second recon tower. Definitely have a place at a Ranger's Choice now. If not more. The end is near, okay. Got a clean smile. Clean smile. We're almost done. Oh, Death Strike? We'll look at it. If we pull it again. Ooh, nice premium in transfer. Oh, I like Recombobulate. I don't know what deck would play it, but I just really like the card. No, oh, but I, I like bounce effects like that. Because it, you know, it reminds me of when I played Magic. There was a lot of bouncing in the format I played. Like, good bounce spells. Ooh. 
We have stuff like memory lapse. Well, that was a counter spell, but. Just those type of effects, like. Counter this spell, put it back on top of your opponent's deck. Return this creature back to your opponent's hand. Or remove the creature from play, put it back on top of the, your opponent's deck, that type of stuff. Recon Tower is better than Guard Tower. It just plays a snipe for five. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta see what Death Strike does. Pathlighter. That's the second one. A Stinging Ward. Alright, what does this do? It's a 2 power 2 2 flying ultimate pay 2 discard a card to give honor scar guard plus 1 plus 1 and draw a card. Okay. The primal, uh,. 2-2 in this cycle of the sacrifice cycle. This is probably the weakest one. Pretty sure. I know uh, Captain Team Bros uh, spoiled this one. And the video was great. I'm a lover of Time Ebb and Plow Under. <laughs> I mean, as long as it's not like ridiculous. I'm kind of a fan of, like, those style of cards. I mean, clearly if it's broken, then it should not be allowed. But, hey. Alright. This will probably be the last legendary. Ooh! A second grill. A second grill. Nice. Gift of battle, give one of your units Berserk. Okay. Seems good with like Deadly Overwhelm. And um what what's his name was saying earlier about gifted battle? Forgot what it was. Oh Grill? Grill is nuts? I don't think she's that nuts, but I don't think she's bad either. It's not the worst legendary you can pull. If she gets Aegis Charge flying good game. <laughs> The citywide ban. All right. It might have spin in, but I, Tony G said, um, the card's only gonna see play if Armory's a tier one deck, and I agree with him. If Armory's not a tier one deck, you're not gonna see that card. You're just not. It's good. It's a good card, even if you don't get weapons out. Like a 3 5 Deadly's okay. Nice. Sword of Unity. Death Strike, 3 power spell, warp, give one of your units killer. Okay. I actually like the art on this card too. That's really dope. Probably still doesn't get played over Xenon Initiation, but Sword of Unity I'm happy with. Definitely. Ice Spear Chucker. When you play a spell, Ice. Okay, all right. All right. That's Kung, Kung Fu Training Doll. I mean, it looks cool as a premium, but I still... Card is still bad. All right. We're done. It took an hour and a half. But we're done. That's I, I wanted to go faster than that. But, hey. I got uh, too excited about everything. So, we'll say a little outro for the, the YouTube folks. If, you, if anyone sees this on YouTube later on. Appreciate you watching the 175 pack opening. Feel free to check out the other Eternal content on the YouTube channel. If you so desire. Feel free to, uh, well, consider subscribing. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like what you see on the YouTube channel. But yeah, appreciate the YouTube folks for watching this. 
And uh, to anyone that's on the live stream, we're going to start brewing. <laughs>